Good morning. Last week we were talking about how um, we asked the Lord to, to come seek us out, to search our heart, to purge us of any other thing that is not from him, that's not benefiting from us or for us and doing us any good. In Ephesians 4, 22, it says, throw off your old sin for nature in your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Once we have invited God to come in and to search our hearts and to purge us of everything that is not a benefit to us, that's harmful to other people, that's harmful to ourselves, then we begin renewing our minds. Because um, Jim Richards talks about how our first learnings are some of the most, uh, we just we revert back to them over and over and over again, even when we are attempting to not. Sometimes those are just what comes out of us. And so when you think about a child who maybe had their first learnings in trauma or in a church that was unhealthy or in a family that was unhealthy, those are their first learnings that oftentimes as adults we go back to, even when we're trying to be mindful of not going back to them and not acting that way. So we need to to practice renewing our mind and letting the Holy Spirit not only come and search our hearts, but then we start activating our mind and we start being aware of why we're doing what we're doing and acting the way that we're acting and making those changes and being aware that oftentimes under stress, we're going to go back to the very first thing that we learned. And those things might not be benefiting us. And those might be habits that we need to break. But he has given us the ability to call on the Holy Spirit and to have him come renew our thoughts, bring new thoughts, create new patterns, create new reactions to the situations we find ourselves in. So I encourage you, as you're doing heart work, now get your brain involved and start reminding your brain that, man, I'm breaking a habit. I'm not going back to this way. This is something that's not benefiting me anymore. So we're going to take up our tithes and offerings. We just want to wish everyone a happy Father's Day out there. What a um, great, beautiful day to celebrate. I'm grateful to have uh, a father that is so uh, wonderful and kind and encouraging, has never told me I couldn't do anything, and has been so supportive. And so I pray for all your fathers out there. I pray for those who maybe didn't have a father or that was the right figure, and I just pray that the Holy Spirit ministers to you today and reminds you that God Almighty wants to love you and walk with you all the days of your life. And so um, we just are grateful that we got to come together today and to just worship our Heavenly Father. Jesus, I just thank you that you are not only working on our hearts, but you're working in our brains as well and in our minds. And we just ask that once we can come to the place where we ask you to seek or to search our heart out and to purge us of everything that's not benefiting us, Lord, may you come and renew our mind and may our thoughts just line up with what you're doing in our heart and in our lives. And may those old habits that we have of just going right back to them because it's just, man, our brain is an amazing machine and muscle and it goes back to what it knows. May we create new patterns and new habits in our lives. In your name I pray. Amen. <laughs>